Hey guys, quick break in the show today. Just wanted to introduce you to a great friend of mine by the name of Sam Lighty. Just released his EP called Love and War. It's awesome. His music is playing right now. But check out the description for links to go purchase and download his album. Go check him out. Sam Lighty, Love and War. I wanted to say thank you for taking time out of your day to jump on the show, but I also want to say thank you for your service. I really appreciate that. Oh, thank you for your support. Appreciate yeah, that. Absolutely. So you made your pro debut back in December at Invicta FC. You came out and you won with the fastest knockout in Invicta history. How yes. did it feel to get that first pro win and in that fashion for you? Oh man, it's overwhelming. Like, yeah. it's more than I can imagine. So yeah. that's awesome. That, that is awesome. I mean, that's such a huge stage to make your pro debut at. <laughs> And also, first fight of the night, I think. Were yeah. the, how were those nerves for you walking out to the cage? Uh, I was nervous almost like the whole week. Until, okay. <laughs> until I, it's, yeah, until I came out and then it's just like, I don't know, I just wasn't nervous no more. I just let it go. Yeah. I think her, her statement kind of just made me feel uh, relaxed and made me feel like fun, I guess, you know? Yeah. Awesome, awesome job. And, and I had to go back and rewatch that fight last night just because it was so good. And you just dominated all of 26 seconds of it, which was awesome. And uh, yeah, great, great job. But prior to you making that MMA, uh, your your pro MMA debut, you held belts. Uh, you had the belt at 125, 135, 145 for blue yeah. corner, right? Yes, for blue corner. Yes, That's correct. awesome. And what weight do you feel most comfortable fighting at? And will you fluctuate or stick with that weight as you're in your pro career? So 145 is kind of like where I started at. Yeah. But they, you know, once I got more into my training, it, um, I like 125. I feel like it's more than my natural size. Seems yeah. like the smaller I am, the more faster. Very cool. 125. Awesome. And how many championship belts do you actually have? Because I've seen some of this picture and you have like six belts on your waist, on your yeah. arms. I have six. Six. Okay. That is awesome. And uh, when can us fans expect to see you back in the cage? Hopefully soon. I'm, I'm hopefully soon. I'm looking at June, but I'm not for sure yet. Nothing's set. Looking at June. Okay. Perfect. Very nice. And then I love to ask this question, but what inspired you to get into Muay Thai and mixed martial arts in the first place? I think I kind of just took it for like conditioning classes, but it's just always been something like fighting just been like a love of me. Something that I just love to do. Yeah. And um, yeah, so that's just kept me going. I just love it. Did you start training at an early age or was it later in, in, in like down the road that you started training? Later down the road. Okay. Later okay. down the road, yeah. So like my family's are wrestlers, but I just never did a wrestler. I'm more, I'm athletic, you know, like I did track, basketball and stuff like that. Mostly gymnastics and, and dance. Uh, okay. And then, uh, yeah, I decided just to join the gym just because I like to work out and it was actually the part of Glory MMA, and Zach Cummins was my first coach. So, okay, I took a class there, and then I just started fighting. Come on, that, that is awesome. Kind of obvious, but how'd you get the nickname Killer? Um, <laughs> Killer, Killer Coach. It's like it's the it has the acronyms of KC, and it's like where I'm from. Okay, and um, so it's actually I got it in boot camp because uh, I was really good in combatives and I was a really good shooter. So they kept calling me a killer. Okay. So I'm a Coates. Everybody calls me, my last name is Coates. So that's how awesome. I got it. Tell me about the Coates Championship Wellness. It looks like you have just do some awesome coaching, but it looks like you also work with some great charities from the Down Syndrome charity that's listed on your website as well. Yeah. So um, Champ Wellness is just basically good about all wellness. I believe that uh, it's all like uh, a physical, mental, spiritual movement and um i try to like personal training i do um a lot of community service like you know, with the down syndrome i work with the the schools here with their awesome. um, fitness programs just to help get people um involved and change the motion for the emotions like a healthy yeah. living 
Okay, that is awesome. Well, hey, uh, do you care if we do some rapid fire questions on you? Go ahead. Go All ahead. right. Uh, do you have a favorite fighter? Do I have a favorite fighter? You know what? I kind of, it go, comes and goes because I feel like MMA is so involving. So yeah. right now, I like um, is Israel right now. Who inspires you? Right now, who inspires me is um, Amanda Nunes. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Who do you have winning that fight between uh, Nunes and Holmes? I think Nunes. Nunes. I think Nunes t- gets the win, too. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> What's your favorite type of music or favorite band? It's funny because I listen to all kind of music. Okay. You know, like all kinds. Like, I think my gym listens to all metal music and my, my, <laughs> my unit. They listen to all kind of metal music. But I don't know. I just like any. Any, I'm more of like a um, instrumental person, I guess. So anything okay. like, like I really love the guitar. Okay. So like electric guitar. So like, so anything that has a lot of that in it, I like it. Just, yeah. It just gets nice. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. Well, I wanted to give you an opportunity too to give a shout out to coaches, teammates, sponsors, anybody like that as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I have a, my sensei Jeff Childs. I want to give him a big thanks because he just helps me out, like in the ring and out the ring and really help me understand it. Also my master coach, Dwayne Lewis, and of course, Blue Corner, they're very, they helped me, you know, get my name out there and gave me the platform to stand shine on. My striking coach, Tony Thornton, and just all my family, my sons, uh, Love and Work High School wrestling team, they helped me out a whole lot too. UCL gym, I kind of, you know, I train a lot of gyms and Master yeah. Melvin and um, they're a boxing gym that I go to. And I just want to thank them as well because um, it's kind of hard for me to get sparring girls. So he, he <laughs> creates a lot of good ones. So that okay. was pretty good. I just want to thank everyone, my friends, my family, everyone who supports me in this because uh, sometimes it gets hard and I'm just thankful for all of it. Yeah, well, braver than I, I like staying on this side of the cage. So thank you for what you do. Really excited to see you back in the cage. It's going to be awesome uh, return there for you. Thank you yeah. again for taking time out of your day, Chantal. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you so much for watching the show. Please subscribe to our channel. Would really appreciate that. If you could please give us a follow on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. And please check back. We're always bringing on awesome people for the Top Rated MMA Show and entrepreneurs, world changers, and success-minded people for the Bearded Biz Show. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day.